In Indianola, Monday night, the Board of Aldermen took action in the case of the little boy who was shot by a city police officer, something the mother has been trying to get done since her child was shot last month. And now the officer will not get paid while he's under investigation. That's a news reporter, Tony Fruits, was there and shows us how it all played out. <laughs> The meeting of the Indianola Mayor and Board of Aldermen opened up with 18 items on the agenda. Nikayla Murray, the mother of the 11-year-old shot by police last month, was only concerned about one of them, 16A. The item, hiring, recommendation, and disciplinary action in the police department. Um, I did have my petitions available um, to present to them at the board meeting. I think it would be helpful for them. After approving a closed executive session, aldermen went behind closed doors. Shortly after, they called Nikayla Murray into the room. 30 minutes later, aldermen reconvened in open session. First item, motion on the police department, motion to suspend without paying officer 618, thank you, All right, we have a motion on the floor, do we have a second? Motion and a second. Ward one, how do you vote? Ward two, how do you vote? Yes. Ward three, how do you vote? Yes. Ward four? Yes. And Ward five? Yes. Eyes have it that motion is carried. According to a source in the Board of Aldermen, Officer 618 is Sergeant Greg Capers, the police officer at the center of the Adarian Murray shooting. Nikayla Murray told us after the meeting she is happy with the outcome, calling it just one step. First, I um, decided that um, the right thing was done in this situation. This is only the beginning. They have decided to suspend the officer and bring papers without pay. For now, she calls it a little bit of closure for a long road ahead. Tony Fruits, The Delta News.